folks, it's Richard Gene here. Hey, today's main subject is micro fishing for crappie. This is something that's not done a whole lot. One pound test line, okay. Uh, whippy rod, little bitty reel. Hey, it is the ultimate challenge. Stay with me. Let's go on the water. Let's do some crappie fishing. There we go. Y'all notice I just lifted my rod tip up. I have a size 8 hook on here, a 128th of an ounce. So real, 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 real tiny. This is good fish right here. Yep. See if we can keep the camera on him. He's pretty there. See how that sun, sunlight hits him. Okay, let's get right here and land him. If we can, this is one of them old rocks I'm standing on that's at a 45 degree angle. But I'm gonna be real careful with him. Hey, 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 come here. We wanna show y'all right here. Now that's a female. No, it's a it's a male <laughs> black crappie. Little bitty. He twisted my jig up just a little bit. But ain't that pretty? Let's let that fish go. Let me get down in here. In amongst it. Or let him go there. There he goes. I'm just easing around. Picking one off here and there and taking my time, enjoying the day because we're fixing to get some bad weather. Come in here. I tell you what, uh, on these little bitty jig heads, this is 128th of an ounce with a size 8 hook in it. I always take a pair of pliers and bend the the hook up because to get it out of line with the eyelet it'll get a much better bite as far as the hook set well in this case all i do is lift my rod up and go to railing i can't set a hook with one pound test line but let's let it drift right back over the same area and see if there's another uh, fish right here they should be uh, i'll have to go a little farther Maybe that'll do it. Hell, no, get out of these trees and it might. There we go. That's what I thought. That's exactly what I thought. here folks I'm in an awkward position I'm on a, a rock it's got a point right on the top of it <laughs> wow that's why it's like crappie fight now I'm going to tell you I don't know if they fight any harder than Gunnersville crappie but they do fight let me see if I can get down here low on this rock Let's see if we can land him right here in front of the camera. Come right here. What do you got in your mouth? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Nice little fish right here. And he shook that jig out, shaking that head. But ain't that pretty. That's a beautiful little wise like fish. Let's let him go right here. Let's see if we can turn around here where we can let him go. There you go. That's the best job I can do right there. My foot's trying to slide in the water, folks. But I'm going to make another cast right now through there. 
and I'm throwing into the wind. That's another thing I do with these real light jigs is I throw into the wind and I just let the wind bring it back to me. That's close to the distance I was out. What it is, I have, there's several rocks that's coming out and I'm throwing out in front of them. See, I'm just letting that, the ripples work the jig. Every once in a while, if I'm not satisfied, I'll do a little bit of that to make that tail. Mm -mm -mm. They can't stand it. A crappie cannot stand something in front of their face like that. And it don't, ma it don't make any difference what time of the year. So the depth right here so far has been pretty meticulous. I mean, I've had to work with the depth, and it's probably about close to three feet deep right here is where the fish is. They're biting about three foot deep off these rocks. Right now they are. Okay, jig, jig changing time. I'm going to take that inch point seven five off, and I'm going to put this inch and a half on. Now this is the white one. They come in all kinds of colors, but on one pound line, I won't tie a loop knot, but on two pound line, I will to get that, give it that seesaw action effect, but I don't have to on this slab tail because the tail does the work. I'm just gonna tie me a trialing knot on light line. I don't go around but about four times, three or four times. And uh, as small as this line is, you don't have to do anything but snug the knot because it's so little. See, it's as tight as it needs to be right now. Any more than that, a weakened line, in my opinion. And I leave about an eighth of an inch tag line on. Tag, and that's it. That paid off, but let's see if they'll hit this white one. I'm curious. There we go. Wow. Lifting that rod up into that fish or about any with this flimsy rod feels like you're into a, a rock or a stump, but you know you're not. You can immediately feel the head shakes. Golly. That one's cutting up, I guarantee. Quick, real quick crappie. There we go. And that's a pretty black crappie. Come on in here. Now, is that not pretty? His cheeks got a little something wrong with it, I guess from probably bedding in amongst them rocks, in between them rocks. But that's a pretty little black crappie. Golly bump. Let's let him go. That's beautiful. Beautiful white lake fish. I'm gonna make another cast right down through there and see if there's another one. I'm gonna shallow this up just a little bit. Not much, but a little bit. These fish is real tight to the rocks right here. There we go. That fish almost slipped up on me. I was looking at my footing because <laughs> I didn't slip once. It's a crappie, I can tell. Shaky shake. Man, pulled a little drag off. There we go. Back and forth. Man, he's starting to wake up. Ain't that pretty. Thank Vic. Uh, bank fishing videos ain't no uh, it ain't no problem folks I love it I can control my bait better you don't need a $35,000 boat with stickers all over it and logos and stuff like that to catch crappie now let's let that fish go let's get on back in there you pretty thing Let's catch another one. That fish hit real quick, so I'm gonna 
Wrong spot, Richard. He hit real quick, so I'm going to throw right back, make a cast right back in the same spot. And see if there's another one. Because he sure did dunk that floater quick. Real quick. That tells me there's a little competition going on. Unless I just hit him right in the head, but there should be another fish right there. Usually they are. There we go. There we go. Me loosen off a little bit. That one's fighting. A little better than some of them did. Maybe a little bigger. Mmm. God, I love the way they fight. No, I don't think he's any bigger. He just mean. He's the one that you don't mess with. <laughs> wow. Here we go again. Come on, boy. I've got y'all's numbers over here at Weiss Lake, or I definitely have. Come here. One pattern that's working. Like I said, they can be a, a several different patterns that work this time of the year. Docks, rocks, tops, all that rhymes, don't it? All right. Let's let that pretty thing go. Go on back in there. These fish is probably averaging about 10 to 10 and a half inches long. But they are spunky. Real spunky. Well, that's the end of it, folks. You know, Weiss Lake is a beautiful lake. It, it abounds with stump flats, creek channels, road beds. You name it, it's got it all. But catching crappie off the rocks, just another pattern. It's a good springtime pattern. And I've caught some big ones in the past doing this, I guarantee you. But not today, but I caught some pretty good fish. Hey, in closing, I want to give a special thanks to Mr. Patrick. Now, he lives right here close to Weiss Lake somewhere. And he handmade me some some crappie counters okay instead of the click type well these won't get in the way of my camera i can just fasten them to my belt loop keep up with my fish and that's a good thing because um, when crappies really biting you'll catch a limit before you know it and if you're keeping them you don't want the game more than catching that's a that's a bad thing uh, i tell you what though i appreciate all the views uh, the great comments. I've said it I don't know how many times. Somebody's coming. And remember, oh, it's killing me. Go fish. Oh. <sighs>